going to talk about the parts of the ukulele. So if you imagine the ukulele as a human being, the part on the top, just like on top of us, this is the head. You'll sometimes hear this referred to as the headstock. Then we have the neck. So the ukulele is kind of like a giraffe. It's got a big long neck. And then we have the body. And then more specifically, there of course are more parts than just the head, the neck, and the body. But we have on the body, this part at the bottom here, this is the bridge and the saddle. So if you break a string, this is where we start from to restring it. It goes all the way up the neck and up into the head area. We also have in the middle of, oops, in the middle of the body, we have the sound hole. And this just helps to give the ukulele a more resonant sound. It would make sound without it, but it wouldn't be as nice. Then we have starting right at the top of the sound hole and all the way up to what we call the nut. This is the fretboard. Now the frets are the little metal lines that you see um, underneath your strings. When we are referring to the frets in terms of where to play and place your finger, we're talking about the spaces in between those little fret lines. Then we have, as I mentioned before, the nut, which is this part up at the top. Then we have our tuning pegs. And uh, our tuning pegs, of course, are used to loosen and tighten the strings and to tune the ukulele, um, which we have covered in the last video. The saddle, the bridge, the sound hole, the body, the fretboard, the neck, the frets and the, the fret spaces, I guess we'll call them, the nut, the head, and the tuning pegs, and of course the strings. So that is the ukulele in a nutshell.